Hello, it's Sue Ricks from the Sue Ricks Academy, talking about confidence. I've been approached by somebody in one of my one-to-ones about building confidence in order to be, as it happens for her, a reflexologist, a complementary practitioner. This could apply to anybody about anything. It's about building confidence. And our discussions have been really all over the place in terms of different things, but it builds eventually down to building confidence. So let's talk about a little bit of structure about confidence, what it is and how to be more confident. So what does confidence mean? I think in many people, it's about an inner feeling of, I can do this. <laughs> in the whole, yes, I know I'm able to do it. I've got some sort of core belief in myself. And it may be that nerves knock that out. And if you want to speak about something or do something or go somewhere or apply for a post or whatever it is that you want in order to feel confident. First of all, it's actually checking with, do you really want to do this? Is this something that you want? Is it Would it be nice just to have general confidence or is it about having confidence for a specific thing? However, it still comes down to the same thing. So, First of all, my suggestion to people is acknowledge if you're not feeling confident, just acknowledge it. Just fighting, a, you know, a fear of something and not feeling confident can actually erode any feelings of confidence anyway. So if you're not feeling confident, that's fine, because. In the world of, you know, like celebrity or people who appear to be really confident, maybe they're not confident underneath, but they've mastered how to control their nerves. And after a while, things get a lot easier. So first of all, accept it. If you're not feeling very confident, just accept, you know, it's OK to say I'm really not feeling very confident because it is as it is. However, there's things that you can do about it. And I'm speaking from experience. I mean, I was trembling at everything at the <laughs> years and years and years ago. Everything would make me tremble and run and cry and, and say I can't do it at every stage. So I accept it. And then once you've accepted it, then you can start to deal with it. So first of all, if you were feeling confident, how would you sit or stand? Would you be like, <sighs> or would you have your shoulders back? Would you have your chest more open? Yeah, would you have your head up? Nothing's happening. All you're doing is just changing your body position. So if you're watching this now because you want to feel a little bit more confident, nothing's changed from when we first started talking about it. But just sit yourself up, put your shoulders back, lift your head, lift your chin, uh, just be more up. Nothing. You're still safe. Nothing's changed. Become aware of how you're sitting or standing. You know, are you like on one leg and the other legs twisted around the other one? Or have you got your feet firmly on the floor? Nothing's changed from the beginning. It, we're just talking. Yeah. So we're sitting back, got shoulders back, heads just sitting comfortably and you're sitting and you're standing well. You're still safe. So let's just imagine you're just in this beautiful safe bubble and you're feeling quite safe. And then if you were confident, you would be sitting or standing like you are. 
you would also, how would you be breathing? Just notice your breathing. Just relax with your breathing. Just let your diaphragm just relax. You're still okay. This is just a practice. And as you get more practice, you can hold your, not hold your breath, but just sort of breathe in a much more relaxed way. So you can breathe in and then breathe out, but it's all done really relaxed. And for some people, the word relax makes them stress. So it doesn't matter. It's just about breathing. Just become aware of your breathing. Maybe slow it down. So that you just take a little bit longer to breathe in, a little bit longer to breathe out and maybe hold it in between. And practising that is a good thing. So now you've got your body posture going good. You've got your breathing going good. And now you can pretend to be somebody who is confident. You know, maybe it would be a, a television presenter or... You know, maybe you've been watching, recently I've been watching I'm a Celebrity and watching Jill win I'm a Celebrity and she was talking about a mental approach and attitude. You know, maybe you could pretend to be Jill. <laughs> maybe you could pretend to be a TV presenter or an actor or somebody in your field that you would respect and admire. Pretend you could, you could pretend to be them. And then know that nobody else knows what you know about your life. And maybe you're being asked to speak about a subject that maybe you don't know as much as you'd like to know about. But you do know what you do know. And that might be only a little bit. Otherwise, you wouldn't be asked to speak about whatever it is. Or maybe you wouldn't be going for the promotion that you're thinking of going for. Or maybe you're going to speak out about something. Maybe there's something that needs addressing. But that decision inside you about this needs addressing or I want to change my job or I want to speak out about whatever it is about or do the whatever. Nobody else knows what you know only you've been through your life circumstances and you do have the inner power it's okay and relax your breathing pull your body back shoulders back bring yourself in become aware of this is what i talk about a lot go and have a look for my other things about how to find your pelvis, let's just actually become aware of your pelvis. And then pull yourself down. It's like imagining being in lift and just bringing yourself down. And then imagining that whatever you want to do or to say or to be involved in, imagine it's done. How do you feel now? It's done. It went well. Woohoo! What did you do for that to have happened? How were you for that to have happened? Take yourself forward to the time when it's 
done. Wow. And actually feel that. I did it. I said it or whatever it was. The euphoria, the amazing feelings that you get. It's done. Fantastic. What did you do to get that feeling? And then go and do it. And then you'll get that feeling. And pull yourself down. Become aware of your breathing, become aware of your body and just settle in. It's OK to not be confident. I think if you ask the world of people who appear to have achieved things, how they feel, you'd be surprised at how many people have done it, even though they were maybe trembling inside. But they learnt to just accept the fact that they weren't feeling good inside, but they wanted to feel good inside and they wanted to achieve, do, say, deal with, whatever. <sighs> Bring yourself down. Feel that confidence. And even listen to your own voice. A sort of deeper tone more paced rather than I need to get the message out and squeaky <laughs> just practice just lowering the tone of your voice and accept it's okay to not feel confident and then pretend that you do feel confident and how is that what are you doing What's your voice like? What's your breathing like? What would the other person who is confident do or say and copy them? So it's OK to not feel confident. It's all right. And then you can go out and do all the things that you are meant to do, want to do have an urge to do, it's okay, it's all right. Lots of love from Sue from the Sue Ricks Academy, wishing you a lovely day. Bye.